And you see Danny wearing number one in the inside alley, and we are underway. One of the marquee names in this field. is Emily Infeld. And Emily has uh, achieved some great things running for the U.S. Uh, Jones wearing number one. Infeld as we see Emily Mackey from Binghamton who uh, earlier in the meet had a uh, great closing rush, final 400 meters to uh, win her race. Uh, Infeld wearing number five, running, uh, runs for Nike. And again, Emily, a world championship bronze medalist, NCAA indoor and outdoor champion. And former Binghamton standout Emily Mackey taking the group through 69 seconds for 400. As we see Infeld in the number five position, and this group is already stretched out single five. We saw a 15 15 92 by Caitlin Tui back in December. That is the collegiate lead. And one of the fastest times run on this oval. Mackey still leading the way. Then going to hand it off to Danny Jones. So Natasha Rogers from Puma Elite in the number four slot, right ahead of Emily Infeld. Fiona O'Keefe wearing hip number six, also running for the Puma Elite. Two twenty two through eight hundred. The facility record two thousand and five fourteen fifty point four six Kim Smith from Reebok. And we've seen on the men's side over the past two years what can be done in this race set up properly. And we're definitely getting that uh, big push tonight from the ladies wearing the New Balance colors. Mackey and Jones leading the procession. Mackey earlier tonight won the 3,840.75 with a real big long drive to the finish from 400 meters out. Danny Jones in second. Emily Infeld in the number four position. Infield won her 5,000 meter outdoor championship back in 2011, running 1538. She also was a 3K champion at 915 the following March 2012. In 2015 to the world championships, third in the 10,000. A memorable finish to that race, 31-43. And then the following World Championship cycle in 2017 ran 31-20. There goes Emily Mackey, Danny Jones next in line to keep the pace rolling along. Right on the numbers, 444-445 through 1600.
And everybody working together on this one. Keep that front seven. Right now pretty much in synchronized strides. It is Jones, Rogers, Infeld, one, two, three. Jones is our second pacer. Trying to hook this, uh, these leaders, the ones going the distance, a full 25 laps. Potentially to take a run at that 1450 facility mark. It's been on the, look, on the books since 2005. Other runners in uh, this field, we have uh, Andy Rodenfels, who's had uh, great success on this track in the distance events, currently sitting sort of in the no woman's land, back in the number eight position. She's about 20 to 25 meters off the lead group, and you see her just pop into the corner of your picture. Danny Jones still leading the way. Sarah Inglis from Puma Elite moving up front to join her teammate. And right now, Infeld is surrounded by the uh, ladies from the Puma Elite running team. Danny Jones again, another 72 second go round. And at the end of the back straightaway, that will be the midpoint, 2,500. And they're at 731, so right at 15 pace. So the three ladies wearing the Puma Elite colors, Natasha Rogers, Fiona O'Keefe, and Sarah Inglis. As Danny Jones steps off the track and leaving it up to our front four, those three along with Emily Infeld. And then a handful of strides back to the remaining New Balance runner in this uh, front group, Julianne Staley. There's our lead group coming through another lap. Natasha Rogers in the lead. Teammates O'Keefe and Inglis right behind. And then Emily Infeld from Nike. Not much has changed with that lead quartet. The three Puma elite runners in front, Infeld, right behind in fourth place. And now O'Keefe going to take the lead.
And the runners who are being lapped here allowing our lead four access to the inside. To run as close to 5,000 as possible. Working the fourth kilometer of this 5K race. A group that we're all focused on, O'Keefe, Inglis, and Rogers, along with Emily and Feld. Three against one right now. Infeld just uh, very happy to uh, stay in fourth place. Let the other three uh, do the work. And trying to sneak away, and here comes Emily Infeld at 4,000 meters as Natasha Rogers tried to sneak away. O'Keefe and Inglis sort of keeping sight lines uh, difficult for Infeld, but Infeld right behind. Natasha Rogers from Puma Elite. There are two leaders. Personal record wise for Infeld, 1454.09 two years ago in Azusa, California. During one of the purposely set up COVID races, I am certain. And now it is. Natasha Rogers opening up a lead. Here comes Rogers. Coming up on two laps to go, an opportunity to go 15 on the launch pad at Boston University. PR for Rogers at this distance, 1504.95, also back in 2001 in Irvine, California. And it's coming up to the bell. Natasha Rogers. 14-20 with one to go. And the crowd gets into it. Natasha Rogers is gonna have a PR win tonight here for Puma Elite. As their squad goes one, two, three. Headed into the final lap, Natasha Rogers. The 31 year old. Just outside the facility record, Natasha Rogers closes very well. And one of her teammates also under 15 minutes. 
as the top four all under 15.05. But the winning time, 14.52.21. Natasha Rogers again, just outside the facility record of 14.50. One of the fastest 5Ks ever run indoors at Boston University. Some celebrating coaches and their athletes. As the BYU Aubrey Frentaway 